Hello Internet World, Techno Guy 3. Uh, welcome to my extended 2012 Command Center Tour. Uh, let's get right on to it. Now, I do this because uh, some people don't like the shorter style of videos, so uh, this is much more in depth. Uh, before I go in, I have a little welcome thing, do not enter rug, little stand right there, and pirates only, no trespassing, and a little webcam tape to the wall. So as we walk in my room, you're confronted by my bed, which is hastily made. Uh, I don't prepare for this. This is how my room usually is. I've got a trash can right here. Um, right there is my sharper image clock. I've got an iPhone uh, charger and a box of tissues. And on the wall, I have this cool little laser thing that I'll get to. That's pretty cool. I, it's on a timer. Anyway, you'll see. Uh, here is my <clears throat> my bed stand. I've got this little cool little spinny thing, and I keep stuff in it. And there's my lamp, for my bedside lamp. And inside here, there really isn't much. I have like a shoestring. That's basically all that's in there. And there is my Electrolux Ergo Rapido uh, sitting right there. And it's cool uh, because it has the blue lights that shine whenever it's charging. So right here is my bookcase. Um, I have a little Intel sign there. On the first shelf, you've got a Nintendo DS, uh, a box that I keep like coins and stuff in, and that was easy. Easy button. Next shelf down, you have um, it's some sort of little clock calculator radio set. I believe I had that there last year. I Honestly, I haven't changed that much. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there is an iPod Classic dock that I dock my iPod Classic on when I need to charge it. Uh, I got some paperweights here. Uh, I thought they looked cool. So, uh, here's my little coin jar that has barely any coins in it. Down on the next shelf is where I keep my books. And, yes, I got Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson. I got that for Christmas. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry, I got that for my birthday. Next shelf down, I got a bunch of magazines. Uh, this, this is kind of Matt's Macintosh inspired. Uh, I'm using this old Kodak, uh, camera, completely made of metal, made in the U.S. I'm using it as a bookend. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there are some of my other books. Down on the next shelf, we have... This um, never forget 9/11 uh, uh, memorial thing. This is a little box that lights up. Uh, I don't even. I think the light burned out. I just have it sitting there now. So uh, moving along, there's my desk. We'll get to that. Uh, back of my couch, I just have. That's my uh, subwoofer, and that is my little light up traffic light thing. Uh, I have some slippers here that I got for Christmas. Uh, there's my fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher sign is right there as always. Employees only. Past that point, which is to my kind of magical area. Uh, stop sign that lights up. It's meant for your car, but uh, I don't really have any need for it for that purpose, so it sits here. It does that when you, if you tap it with your car, you put it in your garage, you know. So here is this Apple poster that I got. Um, think it's from the Think Different campaign. It's in terrible condition, uh, but I got it for free, so it's all good. And here's my battery uh, hub. 
let's see, what do I use? I got some Energizer. These are some Sunbeams that I had because uh, I think someone went out and bought them for me because I asked. <laughs> I got some Duracell, uh, some miscellaneous batteries over here. Mostly I use Duracell and Energizer. Those are my favorite brands. Uh, down here, CD case. Uh, it just has like roller coaster tycoon old windows 2000 games and stuff like that and this is my little um this little gas pump i keep all of my let me open it for you i keep all of my um my other cds in here let's see i got m and m and that's basically it <laughs> i got some blank cds as far as i can t can tell here world of warcraft which i don't even play anymore uh star wars the force unleashed yeah i never played that um, uh, Nintendo DS games, uh, I don't know, this is a tester, it doesn't work, it's a battery tester, <laughs> stop working on me, see so I got this little mat in front of my closet, it's memory foam, it's supposed to go in your bathroom, but I don't have any room in my bathroom, no enter, I love this sign, you can read it for yourself, but I'm a big fan of that sign, this is my closet, uh, not much to see. I got some clothes, uh, some miscellaneous stuff back here. Let me turn on the light. All right, there you can see. Uh, this is basically miscellaneous stuff. I don't want to go through it. It's pretty boring. I got some webcams down here. And this is pretty expensive webcam. The Microsoft LifeCam Cinema HD. I got this cool laser pointer in here. This is class, too. This will burn your eye sockets. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. What's this? Oh, USB charger. Neat. And uh, back here, my closet's super, super small. I try to make the space as useful as I can. Back there, I got, uh, what do I have back there? I think I have some audio cables in that box. And there I have some power adapters. In here, I got some CDs, um, some of those little, uh, those pad things that you put on cabinets and such. Little night light lights. Uh, there's some extra batteries, uh, USB cords, those little slider things you put under furniture, and that's a that's a little kit for your iPhone that my grandmother got me, and some light bulbs. And there's a dehumidifier. In these drawers here, oh, here's a disc title printer. That's pretty cool. And there's a clock back here that doesn't even work. Uh, got some CDs here, full of junk, full of junk here. These are all, like, my driver CDs and whatnot. There's Windows 8 on this, the developer preview. Oh, I got some zip disks, if anyone cares. I'm never gonna use those. Uh, here are some manuals and stuff. Not very well organized, just kind of threw them in there. Um, yeah, Swiffer, uh, some video cables, USB cables down there. So, out of the closet, let's move on. And again, there's my couch, and there's my main setup that everyone wants to see. Uh, there's my trash can. Here is my lamp, same as last year. And here, there's my, uh, let's see, left or right channel speaker? I don't know. It's only two. There's only two speakers. Is that, what is that called? 2.1? I don't know. Moving along, we got my, uh, my chair here, it has this cool little iPod pillow that you can actually plug in your iPod to. Although I never, to be honest, I never use this. Here's a freezer, got some freezer stuff in it. On this wall, one way, that leads into the bathroom. And this is an Assassin's Creed Brotherhood poster. Uh, I don't even know why I keep it there. Probably because I just don't have anything to put on the walls. That's a little stool that I use from time to time. Uh, down there, there's a balloon for my birthday party and a shredder for reasons I'll tell you very, very soon. This is my camera collection shelf. And if you've noticed on my last video, I believe I used this. It makes things very, very smooth. It's the Indie Slider. Um, honestly, if you want something that's super professional, I wouldn't recommend this, but... This is like the cheapest one that you can get, and it's like $130. Uh, it is very good uh, for what it does. It's not that complicated. It just slides back and forth. That's all it does. So, yeah. Moving up one shelf. 
as you can see, these shelves, they go on. Uh, this, again, iBook G3 that I just used for decoration. These are the games that I'm playing at the current time. Uh, I finished Revelations. I am on the very last chapter of Bioshock 2. By the time you watch this video, I'll probably be done with it. Um, some walkie-talkies I have, a piggy bank. And up here is, like, my game collection. Uh, these are my PS2 games. I'm not going to read them all to you. PS3... Uh, there's the uh, the Bull of Wall Street that my dad got for me while we were in New York. We took a, a trip to New York. That's pretty cool. And it's on a little mirror thing. Xbox 360 games. This used to be a clock, but I accidentally knocked it off this, and it kind of fell onto the next shelf, and it ruined the clock. So now it's just a little bookend. And I think it looks pretty cool this way anyway. So whatever. It was a crappy clock before that I never used. Uh, here are some of my DVDs. I basically have Yu-Gi-Oh! And there's Hancock, Live Free or Die Hard. The Matrix, my favorite movie collection ever. And then The Sims, which I never play. So uh, moving to the next shelf. We now have Satellite through Dish Network. Uh, I'm glad I don't have to pay for it because... Satellite and cable TV are both so expensive, I would never pay for them. I just watch crap online. Uh, there's my Sylvania 32-inch TV. It's very nice for the price. Um, I definitely would recommend Sylvania TVs to people who are on a budget. Back here, you see all my cords. I got a ton of cords back here. Uh, there's my APC UPS that's extremely dusty because I never clean back here. And I have a little shoe box that I keep... Well, I can't say keep all my cords in, but I keep a lot of my cords in, since I have a lot of cords. Down one shelf for my TV, you have... This is going to end up being a really long video. I got my uh, audio switcher. Switch the audio inputs. Xbox 360 controllers. Xbox 360. Got my PS3 down here. Uh, Bluetooth headset for the PS3. Um, and there are my controllers. Down there, I got a Guitar Hero co controller, uh, wireless keyboard, and mouse set that I hook up to my PS3 from time to time. Next shelf. Actually, let's look at the uh, the couches here, the couch setup. Right there, I got a Ripley's Believe It or Not, and this is how I play video games. I prop my feet up on this ottoman here, which has a bunch of bookmarks in it. That's not money, that's bookmarks. And this this just has some water in it. Uh, bottled water. So, uh, yeah, this shelf, plasma globe that doesn't work anymore because it's so old. Uh, this is a little thing, Callan, that's my name, and two little coin thingamabobs. Um, this is from Harper's Ferry, uh, little coal train thing. Uh, OMG, that came from TJ Maxx. I thought this was really cool, but it was like eight bucks. So Dad got me for got me it for Christmas last year. Well, the year before last year. Um, this is another one of those little train coal things. Uh, and this is my uh, leather coaster set that I got off Swagbucks for free. Text Bank, it's a very good show. If you've never heard of it, uh, just go to textbank.com or YouTube.com/textbank. Man, I wish they were paying me, but they're not. Uh, down on the next shelf, I use my iPhone 3G as a clock, uh, it, it, like a weather clock, because it's got a very, very good interface, and I like it, even though it seems to be frozen up right now. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it seems to be frozen. Oh, well. Moving along. Accurate. 45% humidity. 68 degrees in here. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Panasonic stereo that I've had forever. I'm actually, at this point, I'm a big fan of Panasonic products. Uh, everything I've gotten from Panasonic has worked well and at a good price for a long time. So, I'm a fan of Panasonic. Thumbs up to you, Panasonic. And there are some uh, pictures right there. Down on the next shelf, I have nothing except that little chess set and my instant switch, which doesn't freaking work anymore. Do not get an instant switch. Man, they suck. A fuse blew in the thing, and I can't get it to work again. So there's my uh, water collection. 
I stock up on water. Cut. Anyway, my box shelf here. Uh, I have a bunch of boxes on here. I'm not going to go through them all. Um, yeah, you can just look at them all. That's basically the sole purpose of this shelf. Moving down, we have uh, the Sanyo camera battery charger. We have my stapler from Swingline. Uh, here's some duct tape. I love duct tape. And a reason I like Panasonic products, this stapler, or stapler, I'm stupid. This pencil sharpener here, uh, it has lasted forever on one pair of batteries, and it works really, really well. So I highly recommend a Panasonic pencil sharpener if you can get one. Uh, there is a scotch tape dispenser. Uh, some paper I have here. Here are some receipts and stuff that I keep in this little filing thing. And the iMac G3, uh, I'm a big fan of the iMac line in general. It's got the whole hockey puck mouse and everything. I believe this is uh, grape. Anyway, it's the first edition with the uh, tray. Down there we have my backpack, a lamp, which I can't find a bulb for. Um, the bulb burned down. I can't find another one, so it's sitting there. Um, a Nintendo DS case, PSP case, and you can't really see it, but back there is a laptop case from, uh, shoot, Swiss Gear. I, I really like Swiss Gear products as well. You may notice that I like a lot of, th of the stuff that's in my room. Weird, huh? So there's my trash can, uh, and you can see there's my green screen right there. Uh, this uh, shredder, this is like new. I just got this, and it is a nice shredder. I recommend it. Moving along, we have my Kenmore uh, refrigerator. This is where the magic happens. Uh, because it only has this little stupid temperature control, I have a temperature or a thermometer, you would call it, duh, a thermometer in here so I can keep track of the temperature. Anyway, I just have some, um, some flavored water in there and orange soda, and that's basically it. I got some water on top as well. Uh, here is my Epson printer, which uh, for the price, uh, it is very fast and the ink lasts a long time, but it, ink does cost $85 to get it completely refilled, so that kind of balances there, I guess. Moving along, in this drawer, we this is my snack drawer, essentially. I'm not going to go through everything in it. There's a lot of stuff in there, uh, but yeah, you can see. And my next drawer here. These are some cleaning supplies, uh, more cleaning supplies, some scissors, pens, pencils, uh, some scotch tape, and that's basically all that's in there. Moving along. By the way, we're moving along to the desk area. So, to start things off, I have this uh, bottle of hand sanitizer. And here's my HP 22-inch LCD. Uh, that is hooked up via, well, I guess it's mini display ports built into Thunderbolt. So I have my iMac, tw my 27-inch iMac. This is a Core i7. Um, I'll list the specs in the description, but I love this computer. It's a great computer. Uh, this is the biggest new thing that I have. <clears throat> So uh, here's a Griffin Simplify that I use to dock my iPhone and uh, also read cards since I can't really access it because of the way I have my monitor set up. It also has a USB hub in the back. Uh, here's my Magic Mouse, my Apple Wireless Keyboard, and the Magic Trackpad, which I just got this Christmas. Here's one of my flavored waters and one of my uh, leather coasters. This is my iInk 28-inch display here. Um... I would definitely recommend this to budget consumers. Absolutely. If you if price is the biggest concern to you, get an iInk monitor. So moving along, again, that's hooked up via Thunderbolt. Moving along, we have this little leather thingamajig here. And here's some remote controls. Uh, this holds some flash drives, and this is holds my uh, Sanyo HD camera. Uh, this is just a little caddy for your desk. I got some tissues here, and I have a mat here, which I set my laptop on, which is an HP Pavilion DV6000. Uh, moving along, we have 
this ball main. Anyway, it's some fancy pen. And uh, I got some donuts here. That's not usually there, but I just got some donuts, so yeah. Underneath the desk, I have an ottoman, so I can prop my feet up. And that's pretty nice. I love having an ottoman there. And this crappy chair, which I still, unfortunately, haven't gotten rid of. I do want to get a new chair, but I haven't gotten around to it. Moving along, this is behind my desk. This is a shout-out to Bill, or Billsta57. Uh, he makes great videos, and his, uh, his setup is awesome. Uh, I don't think my setup rivals his, is all, his at all, but I have it here. I like your logo. So uh, here is my Rode PSA 1 box. I have this sitting on a shelf in here. What do I have in here? I got some speaker wire and some... Uh, cable organization tubing. Now I can't get it closed. Uh, the inside of, I made this myself. The inside of the card of a card. No one thought about it before me it seems like. But I just tore the back off of a card. And this is what the inside of a card looks like. It's pretty crazy. So moving along I have this lamp here. I kinda use this to shine on my box for display purposes. Uh, here is a little air purifier from Holmes. It's a really cheap one. Uh, down here, I have a timer for the uh, the purifier and just some pow a power strip there. And here's my other APC UPS. It's very nice. I love this thing. It tells you how many watts you're pulling. Right now, 240 is what I'm pulling. And there's another timer back there, which controls the laser light. And yeah, the cables back here aren't that organized, but... They're all right <laughs> for my purposes because I don't usually look back here. And there I have the Rode PSA 1 where I have my um, my nice little, uh, shoot, what is this? <laughs> Audio-Technica AT2020. Sorry, and I have a pop screen here and a sh it's shock mounted as well. So yeah, did I miss anything? I don't think I did, but if I did, I'll add it to the end of this video. This has been Techno Guy 3, and wait a minute, I did miss something. This thing that I made because I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Thanks to Brandon Wirtz from BlackwaterOps.com. Please go check out his channel. Uh, he makes very good informative videos. And he told me this in a comment, so I thought it was pretty awesome. So I put it on a piece of paper and stuck it to the wall. Moving along. That's basically it. This is my desk. This is how I normally have things set up. Um, any questions, please feel free to comment. I will reply to you if I can. Um, it, again, if I'm missing anything, I will post it uh, after this video. But this has been Techno Guy 3 and thanks for watching.